In this video, you're going to learn the five essential pages that should be found in any sales funnel that you create as an online marketer or e-commerce website with something to sell. And before we get to the individual pages, just as a reminder, a sales funnel is what leads visitors to become customers and to purchase your products or services as they pass through your funnel starting at their very first visit on your website. They transform from random prospects into qualified leads and finally into buyers. As the funnel narrows and prospects get closer to your sales team, then they're primed already to make a purchase. Acquiring new customers is the hardest part of making money online, but once you have one, it's a relatively easy matter to make additional sales to that customer later on much more easily. But it all starts here with your incoming lead funnel. There are five essential pages of a sales funnel that's going to make your sales process much more efficient, more predictable, and more trackable. Right, each of these pages is important, and so this process is something that happens over a series of pages. You don't try to accomplish all things on the first page, right? But as they get from place to place on your website or websites, they're going to become closer to making that purchase decision because they've gotten to know you better. The first page of your sales funnel that a visitor is going to arrive at after clicking on an ad or responding to your traffic campaign is the landing page. This is the first page people land on. It's got to be the page that you choose for this purpose. It's often called squeeze page. Squeeze page is one type of landing page and one that's very effective at the goal. Now a landing page has one goal and that's to get people to opt in. You might as well call it your opt-in or squeeze page. And that goal is getting people to sign up for your email list. Alright, and this is a very important page. It has to perform that one function which means it's much simpler and that's the specific call to action there is subscribe in order to get this, this, and or this. The second type of page that no sales funnel is complete without is a sales page because this is where you actually get money in return for what you're spending on traffic. An effective sales page turns visitors into buyers. It's going to give them all the information that they need and all of the emotional appeals needed in order to make an informed decision to purchase the product or service that you have to offer. And any email messages that you send after someone has opt in, opted in in the beginning want to direct these at your sales page in order to keep people coming back here because that's what it's all about. And the next few pages I'll show you aren't even needed unless this first sale is made. The next page in your sales funnel is the upsell page. An upsell page is a page that appears right after someone has made a purchase and bought your main product. And this page is going to offer them something extra that they can get while they already have their credit card out and are in a purchasing mode. Perhaps offering some kind of special deal that they only get once if they go through with that. And you're going to find that the amount that you make just by having an additional offer to give people is going to multiply the amount that you are already making from selling your main product. Now if they say no to your main offer or the upsell offer, there's still a way to avoid leaving money on the table and that is showing them a downsell page. A downsell page is the page where if they haven't purchased the upsell or the main product then they go to this one that shows them an offer that's for a lower price than the upsell. Pretty much saying, oh you don't want to spend this much? Okay, what if I could get it to you for this or this version of it that's not as good for less cost? A percentage of people will take you up on that. So it's really leaving money on the table just to let people go away after they're right about to make a purchase. And the last page that a visitor would arrive on after going through your sales funnel is the thank you page. This is the page where they finally get whatever it is that they subscribed to or purchased. So you're going to have a different thank you page for the person who bought your main product 
uh, from the person who didn't make a purchase at all and just subscribed or the person who bought your main product and the upsell right because each one's going to deliver one product or two products or no products or whatever but yes the thank you page is where the retention of your new customer begins and it's very important that they have a good experience when arriving here and consuming or getting whatever it is that they've purchased from you. This then sets the door to be opened for future sales later on down the road. And that's really what it's all about, folks, is getting new visitors as traffic into the beginning of your funnel, those landing pages. And every step of the way, some of them will drop out, but once they go through, they are then added to your buyer's list, and that is where the vast majority of your future sales are going to come from. That's the internet marketing game in a nutshell, getting new traffic, new customers, and then maximizing the lifetime revenue per customer by keeping a great relationship with them and offering them new money-making products along the way. Now to learn new ways to get traffic coming to your website, how to convert that into leads and sales, click the subscribe button here and you'll get future educational videos from us like these as we come out with them.